Now we're inside of lesson two: paid traffic as a system. This is probably the most important lesson of the entire certification because if you don't understand the high-level view of the paid traffic system, you're going to have trouble implementing it and understanding what we talk about in later videos. So definitely pay attention to this lesson. Again, this is really going to highlight and walk through the methodology and the system that we use at Digital Marketer for paid traffic. So keep in mind, this system is basically a bunch of campaigns working together. So this certification, you know, you could take this certification and, and, you know, open your laptop and start running, say, a Facebook ad campaign that generates leads and sales for your business. And that's awesome. Uh, we do that all of the time. But if you're not looking at it as a system, you're not going to automate the system and you're not going to be able to use paid traffic to really grow your entire business. It's more of a you know, one hit wonder. So I definitely want you to keep in mind that um, the system that we're teaching is made up of multiple advertising campaigns that work hand in hand to acquire leads and sales for your business. So, you know, you might have a Facebook campaign running and you might have an AdWords campaign running, YouTube, we'll talk about different platforms later in the certification, but keep in mind that number one, this isn't platform centric. So everything does doesn't have to be on one advertising platform. Um, and really your campaigns are going to work together to achieve different goals. So keep that in mind. I want to cover a little bit more about traffic temperature. I know we talked about it in the last lesson, but I want to make sure that we're on the same page here. So we're looking at traffic temperature in three different levels. We have cold traffic, people that have never heard of you before. Um, this is really where you go to, uh, you know, to, to find those, those cold people and, and to generate those new leads in your business. Warm traffic, people that have heard about you, but maybe they haven't bought or there's some reason that they haven't taken further action. And then the hot traffic, those are your, your buyers and, and people that have bought repetitively. So definitely keep them this in mind as we move through the certification. I'm going to be using these terms, cold traffic, warm traffic, and hot traffic. Um, always refer back to this graphic if you get confused, but keep this in mind. We're moving people from cold to warm to hot, and that's really how this system is working. Also something to keep in mind, all of your campaigns are going to have a specific goal. That doesn't mean that all of your campaigns have the same goal, right? If they were all doing the same thing, then it wouldn't necessarily be a system, right? So all of your campaigns are going to have a specific goal and that's going to depend on what you need or what your boss needs or what your client needs. But keep in mind before you set up a campaign and before you really develop your system, um, what are your goals, right? So, you know, three different goals really that um, you might choose from when setting up your campaigns. The first would be to inter introduce your business to people in your market who have never heard of you. So that's more of indoctrination. Uh, you know, hi, nice to meet you. This is, this is, you know, my name is Molly and, um, you know, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I want to give you value. I want to indoctrinate you um, on what I'm doing. So that is a, might be a goal for your campaign. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in this lesson. A second goal might be to convert a site visitor to a lead. So, you know, maybe you introduced them to your business and uh, you did so they were reading, uh, you know, a blog post on your website. Um, so another goal of a campaign would be, hey, I want to turn all of those people that I introduce myself to into a lead for my business. So, you know, my goal here in this campaign is to generate leads. So that's definitely another option. A third goal would be, you know, you want to sell a high dollar product to some of your best customers or maybe all of your customers. This is really the monetization phase. Um, so this would be more of the hot traffic like we talked about. So they've already bought, uh, but maybe you're going to offer them another product or you have a higher dollar product or a done for you service. And again, 
Uh, we'll give examples and talk about this a little later in the lesson. But start thinking about um, you know these goals when we do set up campaigns. You want to make sure you have a goal because if you don't know the goal of the campaign, you can't measure success. So again, guys, campaigns are not always platform specific. So keep that in mind. You might, you know, run an ad on Facebook to introduce yourself and then follow up with Google remarketing or Twitter remarketing. So uh, don't see paid traffic as platform specific. Uh, make sure that you're looking at these from the campaign and from the goal level. Um, and really, you just have to understand who you're talking to and at what point in the relationship you are so that you make the appropriate offer, so that you know the right time to ask them for something in, in return. So I know all of this might seem a little bit confusing. We're talking about different traffic temperatures and different goals for your campaigns. Um, you know, how do they differentiate? When do you know, uh, you know, at what point do you know which campaign to run when and what do you say? Um, so these are some questions that we're definitely going to answer uh, throughout this lesson and the rest of the certification. You know, what do the ads look like based off of traffic temperature or goal? How do they differ? Um, you know, how are we going to differentiate these different audiences? Uh, what offers do I present and at what stage? We'll cover that in this lesson. When do I actually ask them to buy? That's a question that I get um, you know, from digital marketer members all the time. When do I actually ask them for money? And at what point in the relationship is it appropriate for me to ask them for something in return?